FutureCast. Well, the snow has been coming down for most of us. Let me show you what I mean. On live Pinpoint Doppler 12, we have those blue bands representing where the snow has been and fairly consistent from Providence down to Warwick into the Attleboroughs and out into portions of Providence County. Also picking up some snow and rain showers trying to get going here just to the south of New Bedford. But look at right here, here in Westerly, not a lot going on this evening. Eventually we'll get some off and on snow in this location as well. And if you think he only works during the week, it's not true because Tony Petra all right, he called in and he let me know that along 295 from about Cumberland all the way down through Warwick, the highway was wet, not snow covered, but some of the breakdown lanes were snow covered as were the grassy surfaces. So just use some caution as you're traveling out there this evening as the light snow continues to come down. And that's really the trend overnight. Notice how it never completely turns off. And although most of the snow will be light, similar to what we've already seen, occasionally we turn some of these snow bands to the moderate mode with some of those bigger flakes coming down. And that can put a quick coating on some of the side roads. So just use caution with that. And then off and on snow showers as we head into tomorrow morning. By the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, notice how things start to wind down. And by tomorrow evening, we should be completely done, although there may be some lingering precipitation out here in Plymouth County, Massachusetts. So when we add everything up, it's not a lot of snow, about a coating to an inch for most of us, but from places like Cumberland into the Attleboroughs, up into the Boston metro area, into Plymouth County, it's possible we get one to two inches of snow as we have seen some heavier bands of snow setting up in this location. Outside we go to the hurricane barrier, off and on snowflakes throughout the evening. And as we take a look at our uh, satellite picture, notice it's not a very impressive looking storm. Very small, but just enough moisture coming off the Atlantic to keep the snow machine going all night long and through much of tomorrow with the off and on light snow. Temperatures very similar to what we had today with highs in the mid to upper 30s. Now tonight, again, areas outside of 295, especially out here in Smithfield, Pasco, you go below freezing, so that's where we could see some of those slick spots. And then tomorrow morning, we're still at around freezing, so if you're doing some last minute Christmas shopping very early in the morning, you'll maybe encounter some of those slick roads, and then we go above freezing by tomorrow afternoon. Highs generally here in the mid 30s, a little bit warmer in New Bedford at 37 degrees. Now, as we uh, look at your seven day future cast, on Monday, I'm forecasting a dry day, mostly cloudy, but on Monday night, chance of some rain showers. There could be a little bit of freezing rain at the onset, so use caution with that. Stay tuned to future forecasts as we update you on that Monday night forecast because often freezing rain can be much more dangerous than snow. Then on Tuesday, just some plain old rain showers, not a big deal. Christmas Eve, not very Christmassy. We're talking about mild conditions, very windy and heavy rain at times. The potential of some localized street flooding with highs in the upper 50s to potentially around 60 degrees. So if you have travel plans on Christmas Eve by car, uh, just make sure you allow for some extra travel time. Christmas Day itself looks OK. It's breezy. Temperatures on Christmas morning may start in the upper 40s to low 50s and then drop to the 30s by the late afternoon as a cold front pulls on through. Then Friday looking OK with high temperatures in the mid 40s. And if you want to take the forecast with you, you can do that with your iPhone app for your Android phone and your iPhone. So some light snow off and on, Jared. We have seen at times some of those bigger flakes. I got very excited about some of those flakes. I took a picture with my iPhone and posted it on Twitter just because I'm so into those snowflakes. Uh, kudos to you. And you know what's so great about Tony Petraka? When he's not here, he's a weather spotter. He's, so he's, he's always working. I, mean, I know. He called in and gave me a very professional report, and I appreciate it. We all do. Yes, we do. Tony, thank you. Thanks, Tony, if you're watching. Thanks to you, Pete, as well. And still to come on Eyewitness News at 10, the Friars of Rams both in action Saturday. Both teams and